welcome back to my channel. This is Chelsea's Tower Readings. Now for today, this is going to be a collab I'm doing with a good friend of mine, Missy. Um, this is actually a general reading for all of you, so whoever's watching this one is for you. Maybe you're meant to hear this message. We have a few messages. Um, I am using my Energy Oracle as well as my Radiant Rider Weight. Now, before we get into the messages, I wanted to point out the cards that were at the bottom of the deck. I always like to point these out because usually they are very symbolic and actually especially the energy one definitely is. So I kind of already know the rest of the cards, obviously the energy cards, and we have community. This is a big message now for all of you watching. This is spirit telling you, you have many people around you. You have many loved ones, you have many friends that are here to support and help you through these trying times. Then we also have the Ace of Pentacles over here at the bottom of my uh, Radiant Rider weight. This is a message of new beginnings, um, abundance, opportunity as well. So very good cards at the bottom of the deck. I just wanted to point that out first. Now, to get into the reading, I did do four different oracle cards as well as cards to support these oracle cards in order to get like a deeper message obviously so for the first card we pulled for the energies we have goddess of the moon this card is ultimately about using your intuition going within and really tapping into that goddess energy which a lot of you have that's why this card's coming out now for our clarifiers we have two of pentacles right away again i get you guys have been it's been hard. You've been juggling things. Spirit is telling you with the King of Swords to make sure you're communicating and you're in your power. This is going to help you with your intuition as well as loving yourself and doing things for yourself that make you feel better. Um, because you guys have so much self-worth. It's it's insane. Um, a lot of you may have lost it a little bit. And again, that's why we have the Two of Pentacles here, because you're over here trying to balance, you know, the self-worth, which I definitely see. You guys have a lot of it. Um, and again, Spirit's telling you to use your intuition to be smart about this, because again, you're very smart, you're very intelligent, and you have what it takes to kind of get through it, uh, what it is that you're going through. Especially with the Nine of Pentacles. You know, you're very capable of doing anything yourself you're very strong and that's the main message for this one so we have goddess of the moon next i love this card we actually have caring connections now this actually goes with our little card at the bottom over there the community card um even if you're not in a relationship if you are this is obviously a really good card this is pointing out that you know your partner cares a lot for you is there for you and loves you not only that, for my singles, I'm getting um, caring connections with a close friend as well. Now, for our clarifiers, we have the moon card. We have the fool card. We have five of cups. So I see a lot of you have been disappointed when it comes to the connections around you, but this will definitely change. And king of wands. Um... So this is a masculine kind of showing it, um, itself out here. So what I'm getting with these cards is that for a lot of you, it's unforeseen, but there is a new beginning coming for you. This is somebody new coming in if they haven't already, because for some of you, this person has come in already. This person is going to help take that disappointment away that you have. And there's going to be a lot of passion within this connection. If this is a friendship connection, this is saying that this friend that is here for you, and it most likely could be a fire sign, they're going to help you through whatever it is you're going through right now um, immensely, really help you. Because again, with the moon card, you've been feeling lost, you've been feeling out of it, like where are my caring people, where are the people that matter most to me, where are my loved ones, well they're going to be right beside you, and again, we have this new beginning, you have to take this leap of faith with this person, because again, for a lot of you, this does indicate a new person. Um, because again, this disappointment, this five of cups is going to go away. This person will fill the rest of these cups for you and you'll see it within no time. That's what I'm getting with the caring connections card. This is a really beautiful card. It shows that there is someone around you right now 
if they haven't come in yet very soon and when i say very soon i'm talking in the next week soon um and they're just going to help you through this um they're going to help you through your challenging times that you have right now with that two of pentacles so then we have magician in the mirror but this is reverse and you know what's funny not funny but ironic is I have been seeing the Magician reversed for me too a lot lately. Now with the Magician being reversed, this talks about not stepping into your power when the time is right. And you guys are very, very powerful. And now is the time to step into this power. And now is the time to kind of take back control of your life. So we have the Strength card. So it fits, very, it fits perfectly actually. Queen of Swords, a lot of Swords cards here. Um, Spirit's telling you to think logically right now, um, and remember your power. You're just very, you're a very powerful person, and this is this is the, I guess the big message here today is that not only do you have a community of people around you that love you, but you also are very powerful, and you need to take back your power now. Now is the time to take back your power. And two of wands. So yeah, Spirit's telling you to view this in a different way. Take back your strength. Um, communicate to yourself that you're stronger than how you've been dealing with things. Because maybe for a lot of you, again, with that two of pentacles, you kind of been juggling it. You kind of, things haven't been as balanced. But Spirit's telling you that... Once you step into this magician power, you realize your strength here. Things are going to look a lot better. And I see things are already looking better for you, but things are going to get a lot better because this is going to be upright. I feel it. I definitely feel it. It's there. It's here. It's reversed, but it's here. And you have it. You have what it takes. You know, we have the strength card as a clarifier here. Spirit's really telling you guys that you need to get in this magician mode because, again, you have what it takes and you are a magician. So, we have that. And for our last oracle card, we have Angel of Balance, which is beautiful. Beautiful. It, it's seriously, like, it's a really good reading, guys. Balance is yours and it's going to be yours very soon. We have the Devil card because, again, we, do, we have had a lot of, like, maybe addictions. We've had hardships. Then we have the Ten of Cups. Wheel of Fortune, and the Chariot. So yeah, guys, very positive reading. Overall, just very positive. The message of Spirit wants to tell you is that, again, with the Devil card, things haven't been easy. However, with the Ten of Cups next to the Wheel of Fortune, this is a new cycle for you. Things are going to be looking much more up than they were. Things are going to be very balanced. And then not only that, we have the Chariot card. This indicates that you will be moving forward, and not only moving forward, but moving forward victoriously. So, very lovely reading. And I also want to say again with the Angel of Balance, this is all within you as well. You have the balance within you. You just have to tap into that energy. That's all you have to do, is just tap into that balanced energy, and so it will be. As well as a good affirmation to tell yourself maybe when you wake up daily is I am balanced, I am whole, that kind of thing. That would be a very good affirmation. Um, but yeah, so what I'm getting from this reading, um, to sum it up, is that spirit wants you to know that you're very strong. That you are going through some hard times right now, but that's changing very swiftly. And I think the thing that really got me was the magician reverse because for a lot of you, you're not in your power right now, as even though you should be, even though you're very powerful. That's why you probably were drawn to watch this reading. Um, so yeah, that's some things that you can definitely work on right now. And we do have, again, some very promising cards. You have a good support system around you and we have someone, again, if you're not already in a relationship, we have somebody coming in that's going to really help you with this, help you um, balance yourself out more than you already are working on it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and again, with the Wheel of Fortune, this is a new cycle. This is a new cycle that's happening for you. And things are going to be looking up and looking very positive. 
So that was your quick reading. Make sure to check out the other part, which I will link below. This is my friend Missy's reading. Um, and again, it's a continuation of this reading. So if you'd like to check that out, please do. Please subscribe to her, like her channel, I'm like her video, subscribe to her channel. Show her some love. She's a great reader and I know her personally. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick little reading today. It's a general one. I felt called to do it. So, yeah. Um, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.